Hamilton County District Attorney Neil Pinkson announced he's asking the Department of Justice to investigate the conditions and operations at Silverdale Detention Center. He says, quote, individuals at Silverdale have the right to be protected, and that right should be taken very seriously by every member of our justice system. This comes after ongoing reports of crimes happening inside Silverdale and a viral traffic stop that led to the controversial arrest of a DoorDash driver in Collegedale that led to the Chattanooga Clergy of Justice Please to make stop. a stand Get and out reach of, out to the DA's me. office. We feel that the HCSO, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, cannot complete an unbiased investigation of the incident. We ask for your assistance in requesting that the U.S. Department of Justice investigate patterns of practice at Silverdale Detention Center also. A press release from the DA's office says that since the start of this year, there's been, quote, three rapes inside Silverdale, as well as a stabbing, an alleged severe beating, and reports of multiple drug overdoses. Hamilton County named in three lawsuits that were filed by inmates earlier this month. We reached out to the sheriff's office for a statement on these recent lawsuits, and they say the sheriff will review them and respond when he's ready. If, if the allegations are true, and we believe that they are, of the hazing incidents and the stabbings, uh, that's 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 a dangerous place to be. Pinkston released a statement on Monday saying, quote, right now, it appears that Silverdale is one of the most dangerous places to be in our county, and that is unacceptable. These kinds of allegations are not new. Parents have tried to sound the alarm on the problems at Silverdale for more than a year. I understand that the jailhouse is for prisoners, but they still have rights, too. They still have rights. And we as family, loved ones of them, we have to stand and fight for them from the outside if no one is going to listen to them from the inside. The DA will also investigate a traffic stop involving Collegedale police. Video shows an officer pulling delivery driver Delane Gordon out of his car and eventually using a stun gun on him. Initially, the DA asked the sheriff's office to investigate, but the clergy expressed concerns over past excessive force investigations involving the sheriff's office and asked someone else to handle the investigation. Pinkston says his request will be sent to the GOJ's Civil Rights Division in Washington and the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Tennessee. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says the school district hired school resource officers to provide security for Saturday night's prom. But when they got here, they couldn't come in. None of us even knew that that was going on. These three East Hamilton High students attended prom at this Chestnut Street venue called The Signal. They knew there would be security, but weren't sure what kind. They were like, you know, patting people down coming into the prom, but that's all we knew. As students danced inside, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says SROs hired by the district for security were told they couldn't come in because they were armed. It makes you feel a little bit more uneasy knowing that we didn't have security there that we were supposed to have. When we called the signal, a man who wouldn't give us his name told us any kind of firearms aren't allowed inside the building. It's a good policy to have, but I feel like if you're a trained professional, like, and you're with, like, the police department, you should be able to come in there. They are trained with those things. The venue's representative says the uniformed deputies were welcome to stand in front of the building, but decided to leave. Like they should have been let in just because we trust them and they know that. And like, we know that they're not going to do anything that's going to like harm us. I feel like it's necessary for them to be able to see us so they can like identify like threats. Parents like Robin Williams posted on social media saying this upsets me as a parent to know these children were not allowed the extra layer of protection that their school was trying to provide. And in a statement, Chief Deputy Austin Garrett said, although it is a private business's decision to not allow firearms on their premises, it is sad and disappointing that uniformed Hamilton County Sheriff's Office his deputies were denied entry. Study from the National Educators Association says more than half of educators are more likely to leave the profession early. Jamia Reed shows us what this looks like for teachers in our area. Jamia. Teachers all across the country, including our region, are feeling worn down by the job so much that many are deciding to not return to the classroom. It's not worth the added stress. Beverly Chirac has been teaching in Hamilton County schools for 30 years. She recently retired last year and has continued subbing. I think the last five or six years that I taught, um, I f began to feel the burnout. And it it's not the kids. I think it's all of the other stuff. She says that loss of time cut into their life outside of school. That prep time has to come from somewhere else. A, you get to school an hour or an hour and a half early. B, you stay an hour and a half, two hours, three hours late. Or 
seeing you take it all home with you, which cuts into your family time. A new report from the National Education Association shows that across the country, teachers are beyond burnt out. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are 560,000 fewer public school teachers today than before the pandemic. The Tennessee Education Report says teachers are leaving because of low pay and ever-increasing demands. In Tennessee and Hamilton County, um, the burnout, people have gone on leave of absence. People have um, been struggling with whether to return next year. President of the Hamilton County Teacher Association, Jeanette O'Markell, says some teachers have left in the middle of the school year. And her opinion about the solution to these burnouts. Money talks. Um, and I know the district is trying. They want to do more, but you can only do so much with what you have. The Hamilton County School Board wants to increase teacher pay in next year's budget by 2 percent, which is eight hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty two cents more than the average teacher's salary. Both Omar Kell and Chirac agree that the stress of teachers impacts students. At least for me, I know that when I was less stressed, you know, my lessons went better. Um, so, you know, when you when you have less stress, things are going to be happier all the way around. Jeanette Omar Kell says the district recently started a mental health program called One to One. You can sign up for counseling sessions with no extra charge.